survey based on the Barbara Buono versus oh. versus Chris Christie. Okay. You know. Now there's this other guy who's running a a, a, a progressive who's running against um, a Cory Booker for New Jersey State Senate, t Rush saying that Holt. Huh? that's over with. Rush Holt. Rush Holt was his name. Yeah. And he was saying that Cory Booker. Is not, a corporatist. He's not feeling your pain like you think he is. Correct. He may be a hero, but he's a corporatist, not a progressive. This is why when Cory Booker had a, a private meeting with Chris Christie, he all of a sudden started closing public schools in Newark. Now what, what uh, Democrat who fights for the people starts closing public schools left and right? Well, I wouldn't depend on Democrats to do the right thing. No, because they have become... Certainly not Republicans. Look, all these Democrats, like um, Cory Booker, Barack Obama, uh, Bill and Hillary Clinton... Uh, Bill Clinton former, taught them to be new Democrats. Former New Jersey governor, billionaire, John Corzine, they are, they're all Democrats, but they're all corporatists, which right. means they don't feel your pain all that deeply. Some of them don't even feel pain at all. They feel their wallet. Those are the blue dogs. You know? Those are the blue dogs, like Senators Dodd and Borges. Well, I wouldn't even separate them into categories. They're all the same. Yeah, but Hill, Bill and Hillary, I don't think they would vote against a public option for health care. They did. They were they were against the public option. They never put it through when Hillary put hers out there in the middle nineties, when they crushed it, the conservatives and everything. They crushed her idea, and we did too because it was stupid. So health care. It, it was putting alternative doctors in jail. So 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 health care reform failed during their administration because they're always looking to health care reform to benefit the big boys and girls. In this case, the insurance companies, right? Correct. That's what the problem and is. And why do they help the insurance companies? Because perhaps the politicians are getting their palms greased? You think yeah. that's the reason? And they're telling them, well, well then we'll, provi we'll provide jobs. We are the job creators, you know. And these politicians really believe that? No, they don't. They believe what comes into the palm. Palm grease. Gee. That's their belief. Palm grease. Like the hooker that says, oh. The other stuff is just a, uh, like the a way, you know, a way yeah. to justify it. Like the prostitute that, that receives uh, $200 from a client and, and she goes, oh, you so very handsome. Oh, you got biggie. You got biggie? You got biggie schlong. And then compared to the, the client that says, I'm broke. I don't have nothing to give you. Oh, you're not so handsome. <laughs> I don't want to deal with you, buddy. No ticky, no washy? That's it. <laughs> no I want my no ticky. <laughs> Where's my ticky? <laughs> you see, uh, I usually, see, I, I'm a courteous guy. I usually wait for a pause in a in, in bantering, in a, in a debate or in a bantering conversation before I open my mouth. But, uh, you know, there are people who, I don't know. God, God only knows why they, they're, I call them cutter offers. And uh, I had a little talk with Billy about that, you know, uh, Billy Morrow, you know, and uh, and, and uh, as far as, well, he said he had people to meet with. So I got I to gotta accept it, you know. All right. A big deal in the works. Yeah. Anyway. Okay. Uh, but I had to tell him about the McDonald's thing because, you know, because he goes to McDonald's. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I, he don't, uh, well, he won't eat the burgers because he knows it's, it's got toxins in it. He, he'll eat the Egg McMuffin, mm. you know, and uh, have coffee there. That's only served in the morning. Yeah, I can't get that now. Up until, you know, I would love to have an Egg McMuffin any time of the day. That would be great. 
you do that. You know, uh, they stop at uh, like 10, 30, 11. 11 o'clock, I believe. 11 o'clock. Same thing with Burger King. Yeah. And White Castle. Yeah. Okay. The Food and Drug Administration. Uh, we, we, we know them well. Is warning consumers to avoid a vitamin B dietary supplement from Healthy Life Chemistry by Purity First. And what is wrong with it? Because it contains two potentially dangerous anabolic steroids. And what may they be? The agency says the company's B50 supplements tested positive for methasterone and dimetazine. Dimetazine? Dimetazine, yes. Is it steroid? I know. Two I know. Own uh, O N E is is a uh, is is a, is a hormone. Anything ends in own. Two steroids, or sometimes all, all used by illegal bodybuilders. Illegal bodybuilders. That that would it, that would count for all of professional sports in America today. <laughs> so there's a lot of illegals out there. The illegal athletes. Neither ingredient is listed on the product's labeling. Federal regulators have received 29 reports of side effects. Oh my goodness, 29 reports. I believe there's well over 10,000 reports on aspartame and they do nothing. And I heard the uh, so-called drug testing of athletes. It's a bunch of crap because they're still they're still juicing it. And how long did it take them to take Vioxx off the market? Too long. Certainly more than 29 reports. Listen, I found, it was given to me by a friend, I found the first advertisement for the very first anabolic steroid hmm. that hit the market in 1936 by Shearing Company. Shearing Plow. Shearing Plow. Shearing plow? Yeah. Uh, Not pow, plow. Plow. As oh. in the plow that digs up the dirt so you can plow. plant. I thought plow is used in a sexual... No, that's used in Batman. Pow, zoom, bap, bap, zap, pow, wow. pow. You know. Anthony Weiner should endorse <laughs> shearing plow. Uh, no, he no, he, he should not get the plow anybody. You know, he, uh, I, I, I put down on he his... He just uh, showed his plow. I put down on his Facebook page that he should drive around in the Oscar Mayer Wiener Mobile yes. to campaign. Yes. And he should he should endorse Oscar Mayer Wiener should be a sponsor. You know, and uh, nobody posted anything. Nobody answered me. Too deep. Too deep. Too deep. Too deep. But yeah, Shearing Plow came out with the first steroid. It says um, synthetic testosterone. It was just pure testosterone. And it was advertised for athletes and for uh, older gentlemen that needed a, a sexual enhancement and uh, it was get, uh, Billy it was over-the-counter and it was dirt cheap it was illegal over-the-counter when it first hit the market anabolic steroid testosterone I remember way back I believe it was in the 60s 1936 yeah my uncle worked for a pharmacy uh-huh and at that time, I wanted to put on some weight because I was basically a 98-pound weekly. Oh, like the Charles Atlas cartoon at the uh, back of the magazines. So he brought me Still the Straw. Say that again. Still the Straw. Still the Straw. Which was being sold in pharmacies. And Straw, oh well, is a steroid. Steroid. Reports, excuse me, of side effects connected with the product, including fatigue, Muscle cramping and pain. Some of the cases have resulted in hospitalization. But there have been no reports of death or liver failure. Okay. The product is manufactured by Mira. Mm -hmm. Health Products LTD of Farmingdale, New York. And sold online and in stores. The FDA says the company has declined a government request to voluntarily recall the product. Oh, there's a little uh, 
a little testiness going on between the company and the manufacturer. Well, the FDA and the USDA have their own skeletons in their closet. Boys born to mothers who needed their doctor to start or help along the birth may have a higher risk of autism. Boys whose mothers had labors that were induced, which stimulates the uterus to bring on contractions or augmented, which, which decreases the strength, duration, and frequency of contractions, had a 35% greater risk of autism than children whose mothers did not need those procedures. The study was the largest to examine the potential link between birth procedures and autism, mm -hmm. and to find that males be more affected than females. We haven't found cause and effect, said Dr. Gregory. Gregory said multiple issues may contribute to the higher autism risk, such as the woman's health, the unborn child's health, the reason for labor to be induced or augmented, and other drugs being used at the time of the childbirth. Oh, by the way, as a more uh, levity feature here. A federal judge on Monday threw out race discrimination claims by a former Savannah restaurant manager whose lawsuit against Paula Dean has cost the celebrity a valuable chunk of her culinary empire even more damage to Paula Dean? Uh, so no! The court case was thrown out! I mean, the woman lost her show. I mean, you know, leave, leave her poor restaurant alone. Lisa Jackson sued Dean and her brother Bubba last year, saying she suffered from sexual harassment and racially offensive talk and employment practices that were unfair to black workers. In her five years managing Uncle Bubba's Seafood and Oyster House. Yeah, well, Savannah's on the Atlantic Ocean. It's a coastal, historic coastal city. So, yeah. Paula Dean co-owns the restaurant. With her, that's her son, right? That's her brother. Oh, Paula Bubba. Dean, Paula Dean's brother is Bubba. So they co-own it, okay. But it is run primarily by Bubba. All right. Now, doesn't Paula Dean have a, have a restaurant to call her own also? She has several. Several? The, the Lady and the Sons was the first one. And she has several other ones. So Paula Dean uh, not getting her contract renewed with the Food Channel did not exactly hurt her standard of living. Uh, the same as when you when you find a Wall Street firm or something, it certainly does not hurt their standard of living. So, what the hell was she crying so much, for, uh, Paula Dean on, on on national TV? Well, I guess she was crying because she was being sued unfairly. Obviously, that's what the judge thought, because he threw out the case. All right. But claims of race discrimination by Jackson, who is white. Oh, she is white. Then how the heck? I'm missing something. Were gutted in the 20 page opinion by U.S. District Judge William T. Moore, Jr. So, where, where does the racism come in if. I guess that's why he threw it out. Uh. Uh, uh, uh. Duh! Yeah, that's why I said I think I'm missing something. The judge agreed with lawyers for Paula Dean and Hires, Bubba, that Jackson had no standing to sue her former employers 
for what she claimed was poor treatment of black workers. Regardless of her claims that she was offended and placed under additional stress. Jackson at best is an accidental victim of the alleged racial discrimination, the judge said. There are no allegations that defendant Bubba racially offensive comments were either directed toward the plaintiff or made with the intent to harass her. The ruling lets stand Jackson's claim that Bubba sexually harassed her when she worked at the restaurant from 2005 to 2010. Jackson's race-based claims have already caused serious damage to Dean's public image. It was Jackson's lawyer who questioned Paula Dean under oath in May when she acknowledged having used racial slurs in the past. A transcript of the legal deposition became public in June and the backlash against Paula Dean caused the Food Network and other corporate sponsors and business partners to drop her. Attorneys for Paula Dean have said Jackson's lawsuit was based on scurrilous and false claims. But the damage is done. Hmm. See what happens in America? Okay. Well, people, um, the media, and well, people in general, uh, they they would they will they would admire they they they'll they'll admire a, a, a very successful wealthy person in the spotlight, okay, in the limelight, but they will also they also love to see their downfall. It's like kind of a a little uh, little um, sadism, you know, like. They, they love they love tearing down of the hero. They love scandal of somebody who's on top and and who's popular. When they become infamous, they're quite entertained by it, and they love to see the uh, the, the, the fall of the person, uh, you know. And uh, but then again, they will idolize somebody in that situation all the same. Mm -hmm. um, I heard somebody won the uh, was it the Powerball lottery it was it was past four hundred fifty thousand dollars. Thousand? Are you out of your mind? Yeah. Million. It went up to a mil. Four hundred and some million. I'm sorry, million, million. My mistake. Made my God. Four hundred and some odd million. You're right. You're right. I think. Four hundred fifty million. I don't know. One of them was, was five hundred and ten million. It was above four. It was definitely above. It yeah, sixteen people won in the Ocean people? County. Uh, um, I think it's the Department of Public Works, something like that. New Jersey people won it. New Jersey people. Too yeah. bad. Too bad. I don't like. I don't, all I don't like people. I don't like people from my state. They suck. They're assholes. They're all going to get like three point five million dollars apiece. The one woman says she wants her hobby to retire. That's what she wants to give him. She's going to continue working, he can't. but she wants hubby to retire. You know, three, he's worked hard all of his life. Three million dollars uh, uh, before taxes, after taxes, after taxes. Yeah. Uh, three million is not a whole hell of a lot anymore like it used to be. But uh, maybe, maybe See, that's what the rich are saying. That's why they don't want you to tax them. Oh, like the got. people making two hundred fifty thousand dollars a Well, it takes a lot of money to put my kids to college, and this is that and the other. And why thing do you? And why do well, you? Well, what the hell do you think it takes for somebody making fourteen thousand dollars a year? That's paying. That's paying the tax burden. That's paying or is taxes. Or unemployed and paying taxes. Why are their children so special that they have to go to these expensive Ivy League universities or whatever, wherever they send them? 
What makes their kids so special that they have to go to the best schools, but other families that are not rolling in dough can't send their kids to, to, to college at all? So, but their kids are like special. They have the opportunities, okay? Because they got the dough. Opportunities come with yeah. the dough. Yes, and, and, and people get paid off with dough too. Now, uh, um, you... Especially pizza makers. Yeah. Right. Well, you make... Um, if you put the three million in, if you go to a savings and loan or a federal credit union bank, and uh, you lock it up into a, what is a certificate of deposit? Uh, yeah, because the savings account, forget it, it's under 1%. Yeah, I mean, well, if you put it in a money market fund, a tax-free money market fund, it's not insured, right? I have no idea what is safe today. I don't know what's safe today. Okay. You know, but you get, you know, you can live, maybe the interest on $3 million will be decent. I honestly don't know. It depends on where you go. It depends on what you do. I don't know. So maybe the old geezer, maybe, I think he could retire. I mean, I know I could live off the interest off a measly three million. I think I could, I could, you know, I'm not, I know how to budget real well, so I, I might be able to draw a good income from three million. Depend, let's say it's three million, five percent. Let's say it's five percent. Two. What do you mean two? On the certificate of deposit? You gotta be kidding me. Two percent on a CD? Are they out of their minds? Yes. Meanwhile, they're making money hand over fist. They're getting it free from the Federal Reserve. It's the tax, the interest rate is also below one percent. It's free money for the banks. These people are greedy scumbags. See, I- No I, kidding. I could sense I could sense that, like when we, when I talk to Bill, he doesn't want to, he doesn't quite demonize correct Republicans or corporations. He doesn't understand the conspiracies going on. Yeah, what 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 Reverend Bill was saying was based on things that are really going on that Billy wasn't aware of, Billy Morrill. So, but the capitalism is downright evil. <laughs> I mean, I mean, how how much money does a human being need to have? My God, how much profit do you need to make? Two percent interest on a CD, certificate of deposit. Yeah. Well, that's because they they're doing that so that all the money goes into spending because the economy is so bad. Into spending. Into spending. They're forcing you to spend because the money is no good in saving. Well, so you, you have to spend. But if, if your interest is good, people will spend that. No, or they more will frequently. save. Hmm? They will save, and then it won't go into spending, into the economy. No, no. Well, if you got three million, it's a deliberate ploy. If you got three million dollars locked up to collect well, interest, I'm not talking about that. why I'm would you spend three million? Why would you spend any of the principal? We're not talking about what that. We're talking about the economy. We're talking about why banks are not paying six percent interest. They want to keep more money liquid, going into the economy. Uh, uh, the, the, they want mainstream to have liquid cash, going constantly going back into the economy like a revolving door. It goes in the bank one way, it comes out, it goes into the economy. So only the fat cats can it's suck going money into the bank. No, they wanted the to spend. The Federal it. Reserve is putting the money into the right. banks, not the savers. Now, what about the fat cats? They got their money socked away, right? Of course, that's taken care of. Overseas, they're not. You're going to bring it back here and have it taxed. Hey, it's a racket. That's what it is. It's a racket. Just, just take a look in at favor of the big boys and girls. <clears throat> just take a look at the Republican Congress uh, working a couple days a, a month and 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 uh, complaining about every little thing. And they go on. They're always on recess, and they're and uh, they make almost two hundred grand a year. 
doing next to nothing. Well, the Republicans do nothing. Yeah. Oh, well, because they try to repeal Obamacare 40 times. Now, how the hell does that help your, your, your voters? It doesn't. It doesn't. By, by just repealing. All it's the, like waving your hands in the air and say, I'm working. Over and over and over and over. Okay? Yeah. Look at me. I'm waving at you. I'm working. Yeah. Despite popular alarm and fascination with hooking up on campus, college students are not having sex with more partners than in the past few decades. Because of STDs? and are no more accepting of sex before marriage and are actually less likely to report having sex weekly or more often according to a study released on Tuesday. Well, well if that's the case, I hope the chicks are paying for their half of the date. We're not living in a new era of no-holds-barred sexuality, said Martin Monto, the University of Portland sociology professor who co-wrote the study. For example, fewer than a third of college students surveyed between 2002 and 2010 said they had sex with more than one person in the preceding year. About the same level as reported during the late 1980s and early 90s. Isn't that the general idea for uh, having two genders created on Earth? Is to have sex? Or they're just no. talking about pr pr promiscuity. They're just talking about part. If you're talking biblically, the reason the two genders were created and sex is to bond them. Well, plus to reproduce them. And to reproduce. Yeah, I mean, uh, or the, well, what they're saying is more Marriage. more young people today are 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 getting involved in one partner relationships, <clears throat> not multi multi partner relationships like they did in the past. What has changed? Monto and a fellow researcher found is whom the students sleep with. Whom? Recent college students were more likely to s say they had sex with a friend or a casual date and less likely to say they were wed or had a regular partner compared with students polled between 1988 and 1996. Mm -hmm. Among those who were sexually active, more than 68% said they had had sex with a friend in the last year. I guess that's what you call a friend with benefits. A friend with benefits, yeah. Friends with benefits. An increase from roughly 56% during the earlier period. The findings line up with earlier research on teens and 20-somethings that showed no increase in sexual activity in recent decades even as experts have observed changes in how college students pursue sex and romance. Scholars